This is going to be the last conversation that I have about this Kanye West situation. I want this to be the definitive perspective as some time has lapsed. He's successfully stayed in the news cycle for about maybe two or three weeks now, which is a feat, especially in this microwave age. But I wanted to address not just Kanye West, but kind of like the reaction to what's being said. Now, obviously, if you have been under a rock for the last two to three weeks, you or 20 years, you don't know who Kanye West is. You don't know that for that entire time that he's been a producer, a hip hop artist, a fashion icon, a designer, uh, all of these different things, a father, um, a husband. During this time, you haven't recognized that Kanye West is going to speak his mind. Um, and Kanye West has always pushed the envelope. So there's a love-hate relationship, for lack of a better term, generally with Kanye West, whether that's his music, used to love his music, I, I like the old Kanye, not the new Kanye, all of these different things. The more recent uh, statements by Kanye West in regards to what's being presented as anti-Semitic statements are the things that I want the focus of this video to be. Number one, this video is brought to you by BlackGunsMattershop.com. Get all of your pro-liberty, pro-gun, pro-freedom, solutionary gear at BlackGunsMattershop.com. Anytime that you are critical of a group of people, there is a chance that that group of people, especially if they have power, um, whether that's false power or real power, they can organize to try to get you so-called canceled. We're actually seeing this in real time right in front of our eyes. Now, the statement that Kanye West made, I want to deal with the things that I disagree with first. I disagree with Kanye West's generalization of Jewish people. Now, obviously, he may have clarified that since then, but I, I, I'm always cautious when we are generalizing an entire group of people. And you may, that may not be your intent, but if you're not very specific and articulate with your words, that broad brush can be used not only to paint you in a bad situation, but also to try to hide what you're, the truth of what you're actually saying. Now, obviously, Kanye West is saying that there's a Jewish community that are high up in fashion and entertainment industries. That's not a lie. But when you generalize and say the Jews, you know, if someone was to say the blacks, the Asians. It's a generalization that every single person is not a monolithic individual amongst a monolithic group, okay? As well as, here's a way that Kanye West could have expressed his disinterest in the particular Jewish businessmen and women that he's engaged with during his time. If he would have said, my experience with these particular people and then named their names, Obviously, everybody would have recognized that it happened to be Jewish people. The reality is there's a lot of high level, Kanye operates at a high level in fashion, business, and entertainment. There's obviously Jewish executives at these high levels. Then what he's saying about the individuals that he's engaged couldn't be denied. The problem here is he told a fundamental truth. Not about what he said about Jewish business executives or not even the overall structure of how business is being done in these arenas because those are wrong or they're not as productive as they should be, right? That's not what he's wrong about. He's wrong and he's being attacked right now because he's discussing the fact that black voices have been stifled, controlled, manipulated, and exploited in the entertainment, movie, fashion fields. That is a fact. Now, someone could say, well, they signed the contract. No different than Dave Chappelle said when he was talking about his pushback, about Comedy Central and so forth and so on. You technically did sign the contract. So it's fully legal what is being done to a lot of young artists, starving artists, creatives, so forth and so on, even as they go up the chain of command or up the pyramid, right? It's technically legal, but legal does not mean morally correct. Slavery was legal. It is not and has never been and is currently not morally correct. So that telling the truth and then highlighting and then saying the actual uh, ethnic group and or religion, depending on what you personally believe, right? 
saying that to a group of people that have organized themselves collectively to converge on any opposition, and that convergence isn't negative fully, these were an oppressed people. I think he said something else that was very important, which was, I, I'm jealous that the Jewish community, again, generalizing, which he shouldn't, because every Jewish person isn't great with money. I'm jealous that the Jewish community is organized and is on top of their finances. I agree with that sentiment. I agree with that sentiment. The approach is 100% lacking tact and skill. The truth of his individual experiences with Jewish businessmen is factual. The truth that at certain points, Jimmy Iovine owns 70% of black music, that's factual. The truth that when Charlemagne the God asks Lior Cohen directly, do you think that it's hypocritical to say that the drug usage and the music that these rappers are promoting is bad, but you'll still sign that artist? And Lior Cohen's answer being, is it opportunistic? Yes, but I got, I got people to feed. That clearly is an alignment with the statements that Kanye West is talking about. Let's go back before Kanye West. Let's talk about Damon Dash, his mentor. Damon Dash has been very critical of Lior Cohen. Damon Dash has been very critical of Harvey Weinstein. David, the story alleges that Dame Dash smacked the hell out of Harvey Weinstein for disrespecting women before it was all the rage. You go back further. You go back to Prince literally writing slave on his face. You go back to Michael Jackson, the Remember the Time video when the mighty <laughs> under in, in conjunction with the mighty Michael Jackson, who everything he touched turns to gold and platinum, they didn't want to finance the Remember the Time video because it was an all-black cast. When you're talking about uh, the NBA, which is populated by mostly African-American players, but there's only one African-American owner, majority owner, and that happens to be Michael Jordan. You almost have to be the greatest basketball player ever to be an owner of an NBA franchise. And there's tons of ownership and executives that happen to be Jewish. Huge shouts to David Stern that turned the NBA into a money-making machine. My point in saying all of this is expressing the fact about the ethnic and or religious background of a group of people does not necessitate it meaning racism or anti-Semitic statements or sexism. We have allowed the dissent to be curtailed by certain groups, and this time it just happens to be the Jewish community, organizing well to try to cancel and or financially punish. We're watching a public flogging of someone that's told the truth in a way that he could have told that truth better. Let's go back further. Let's go back to the statements that Malcolm X said about the Jewish community in the 1960s. Oh, I think this, that in this country, there's one mistake that the Jews make. Uh, they put themselves in a position where whenever anybody gives an objective analysis of the role that they play, uh, they defend themselves by accusing you of being anti-Semitic. This was in the 1960s, okay? That is a tactic to try to shun someone from having a legitimate critique. I do not think that Kanye West has a uh, thorough handling on articulating this point thoroughly. I think he's frustrated. I think he's back and forth in some areas. In some other areas, he's completely wrong. He's completely wrong about George Floyd dying from fentanyl, or he's completely wrong by repeating stale and incorrect right-leaning talking points. He's completely non-empathetic, making shirts saying white lives matter with the Pope on the front of him. In my opinion, the beautiful thing about that is I get to have an opinion. And the fact that I'm saying Kanye West is not spewing anti-Semitism, Kanye West is frustrated and is all over the place. There's a lot of people that have streams of thought and it comes off scatterbrained. But the same people that are critiquing him and asking for his canceling now are the same people that highlighted when he said George Bush doesn't care about black people. This is the same person that at certain points, the people that are now championing him, a while back said he's wrong because he said slavery is a choice. I think the bigger issue here is twofold. One, how soft we have become as Americans that 
we are calling everything racism, sexism, anti-Semitic statements without listening to unpack what the person is actually saying. And two, it speaks to our fear. It speaks to our fear. People in my camp almost tell me I shouldn't make this video right here. Why? My Jewish friends, when I have a genuine conversation with them, had a 30 minute conversation with the Pew Pew Jew, Yehuda, who's a friend of mine. We've known each other for years. He expressed his perspective where the approach could have been better. He also expressed, I don't think that's absolutely anti-Semitic statements, but in Kanye's position, he has a responsibility or not. When he does make these statements and it's general that way, it could be perceived as that and the people that want to attack will do so. This does not change the fact that those people attacking are 100% wrong. For Adidas to turn around and say, we're going to cancel our contract and we're going to stop payments. Now we're talking to a different issue. You're saying you have a contractual obligation and you're well within your rights to no longer further or re-up on the contract, but now saying we are going to stop the payments to someone that you're owed. That's wrong. That's contractually uh, unscrupulous. Playing into this false narrative that every Jewish person is going to be a swindler. You're doing the thing that he's accusing you of saying is bad business. When you have JP Morgan, Chase Bank say, we don't want to do business with you anymore because you were critical of us and take your $140 million elsewhere. We are literally seeing mainstream media, entertainment, uh, talking heads, media personalities prove Kanye West 100% correct. And it's a highlight of our weakness and inability to have layered, nuanced, contextual conversations and listen to where someone is coming from before we're so quick to fake cancel a person. What Kanye West said isn't anti-Semitic, but you know what is anti-Semitic? Gun control. And most of you people that are saying he's anti-Semitic, the vast majority of you are going to ask for more controls on Jewish, black, white, Asian people to have the ability to defend themselves from actual Nazis, actual tyrants, actual racists, actual white supremacists, actual evil beings. Take a moment, look at your overreaction to a statement and ask yourself, have I actually tried to hear this person and where else am I doing that in my life? Be safe. Be solutionary.